Hello, you're watching a brief demonstration of RF Smart's assembly build function for NetSuite. What you can see on the screen is a live mirroring of RF Smart on a Zebra TC70 device operating in real time against NetSuite. RF Smart can be used on a wide range of devices. From the main menu, I'm going to go ahead and select assembly build. Assembly build allows an operator to build an assembly item with or without a work order. I'm going to go ahead and scan my assembly item. And what I can see here is this is a work order control product. So I'm going to get a list of outstanding work orders that are ready for completion. And I can select one of those. If the product did not have a work order, then I would simply be presented with this screen, which would be the buildable quantity of that particular product. So if I go ahead and enter my build quantity, it's going to make this quantity and it's going to consume the components automatically out of the preferred bin within NetSuite. So you can see now that it's telling me that I've built 10 for order number 173. So for a product that does not have work order control or does not need to be picked, this would be the entire process. However, if you were building a product where you wanted to pick the components to stage first and then do the build, you would use assembly build picking. This is often required when you want to be able to track lot or serial items on the components or you want to be sure that you've picked the correct components to a given staging location. So from inside assembly build picking, I can go ahead and hit load orders and it's going to show me all my outstanding orders that are ready for picking. And then I can select one of those. So 126, for example. And you can see here that I've got a request for two quantities to be picked and staged. So if I go ahead and scan the barcode for one of those products, this is going to follow standard RF Smart picking logic in suggesting a bin to pick from. So if I scan the bin and then I confirm my quantity and then you'll see that that item turns green and moves to the end of the list. And then the next product for me to pick is at the top here. If I had to go ahead and scan that, scan my bin to confirm where I'm picking from. You'll also note that there's an alt bins button, which would enable me to pick from a different bin if I wanted to do that and enter my quantity. So now I've picked, and if I go ahead and hit submit, I'm going to have staged those two products. So they're ready to be used to complete a work order for this product. So now I would go back to assembly build and do the build process again to build another 10. But in this case, I would be building using what I had picked. Thanks for watching.